YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we're back with some quick fix videos on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Platinum Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. Today we actually have the gray cleaner. We are going to dive in and start doing some fixes. Stay tuned. Alright guys, and we're back with another quick fix video on Pentair's Creepy Crawly Platinum Pressure Side Pool Cleaner. Today we are actually going to show you guys how to remove and install a new sweep hose screw. So this sweep hose screw is meant to fine tune the pressure that's actually going to go to the sweep hose that whips behind the cleaner back and forth. So obviously if this thing is whipping around way too much, you're going to need to adjust this screw by going in to reduce the pressure which is actually going to give less water to this and then if this isn't moving at all and you don't see it moving around the floor at all obviously you want to turn this the opposite direction and open it up it is completely threaded uh, again for this for this display we have the gray version which means it has the gray metal screw there is a white screw that does not have this same Allen, uh, like an Allen wrench adjustment. Uh, in this case, this is a full steel style screw, so it does have like an Allen, uh, an Allen head here for you to be able to tighten it down or loosen it. Uh, most of the time, it should be you should be able to do it with your hand, but if you do need the tool, um, there is an option for the gray version, not for the white. And for the white, it's actually got like a hexed end, so you'll have to use some kind of a, of a wrench or you know, some kind of other tool to be able to grab a hold and loosen it. As you guys saw, it unscrews from the feed mast here. The feed mast is already gonna have a pre-done hole off in it with threads. So you guys wanna make sure that when you are inserting it, that you don't cross thread anything, because this is plastic. So when you start cross threading stuff, you, you start taking away its integrity and, and it can cause issues. So you just wanna be gentle, try to find the perfect little thread there, as you can see, and it just moves right in. Really simple to take off. As I said, if you don't have the ability to grab it with your hands, you can grab it with a pair of pliers. In this case, you can use an Allen wrench. Like I said, for the white one, it, it'll probably need a pair of pliers, but really simple. You're just going to screw this all the way in and then fire up the system, and you're gonna kind of adjust this based off of um, how the tail moves you want to make sure that you're not providing too much pressure to that to cause the water to fly all over the place So make sure you guys check out the links in the description We've got more videos on taking this cleaner apart and how to repair some of it. I'm Kyle Lee Pool Spy. Thanks for watching Hey everyone. Thanks for watching Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed check out the links below and We got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you